once upon a Christmas, far away in Bethlehem, Mary being great with child, had no place to lie down. So Joseph found a stable in which Mary had her child. Once upon a Christmas was the birth of Jesus Christ. Once upon a Christmas in a major far away, a king was born, his palace was a manger filled with hay. His royal robe was swaddling cloth, a halo was his crown. Once upon a Christmas away in Bethlehem. And all the world rejoiced because the king was born at last. A Savior had been promised, now it had come to pass. And the joyful news that he was born spread quickly far and wide. Once upon a Christmas was the birth of Jesus Christ. Once upon a Christmas from the Far East wise men came with gold and myrrh and frankincense to praise a newborn king. And shepherds left their flocks and came to see and worship him. Once upon a Christmas away in Bethlehem. And all the world rejoiced because the king was born. Savior had been promised, now it had come to pass. And the joyful news that he was born spread quickly far and wide. Once upon a Christmas was the birth of Jesus Christ. upon a Christmas far away in Hello, and welcome to our Christmas Eve program here at St. Paul Lutheran Church in Olean, Indiana. I'm Pastor Curtis Black, and it's great to have all of you being a part of this program here uh, tonight or whenever you might watch it. About a year ago, there was a large number of people gathered in the sanctuary, buzzing with anticipation for the 2019 Christmas Eve program. And not a one of us would have imagined that the year 2020 would have gone the way it did. And now, here we are, recording segments from various places, and now bringing it all together tonight and participating from our homes or wherever we might be 
as we watch this video. It's a strange feeling. It's a, a disconcerting feeling. Seeing all of this take place. Not being a part of the traditions that we hold dear and love so much on this night. But what we have seen throughout the year 2020 is that in response to the chaos and the challenges of this year, the Lord continues to do new things. And the church continues to adapt and do new things as well. Some have talked about closing churches. Well, the church has never been closed. It's just needed to do new things. It's needed to adapt. It's needed to move online, move outside the building. And it's continuing to adapt in our various ways of doing Christmas Eve worship tonight. Or Christmas Day, if this is when you're watching it. With that in mind, we have adapted. We have redone our Christmas program in a way that we have never done before. And we give thanks to all of you who took the time to record these segments from your home or from wherever you did them and got them into the, to us so that we could stitch it together and put together one comprehensive video for our Christmas program this year. And we thank you for being open to this new way of observing Christmas Eve and for coming to participate in our Christmas program online. With that, I invite you to join me in prayer as we begin. Almighty God, you gave us your only Son to take on our human nature and to illumine the world with your light. By your grace, adopt us as your children and enlighten us with your Spirit. Through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.
Stille Nacht, heilige Nacht, alles schlaft, ein Sonnwort, nur das Kante hoch, heilige Wahl, Knabe mit lockigem Haar, schlauf in himmlische Ruhe, schlauf in himmlische Heaven above, to earth I come. The words to this hymn were written by Martin Luther in the year 1531. Martin Luther wrote the hymn for his five-year-old son, Hans. The hymn was sung at the annual Christmas Eve festival held at Luther's home. A man, dressed as an angel, would sing the verses. The children would greet him at the end of every verse with welcome to earth, thou noble guest. From heaven above, to earth I come, to bring good news to everyone. Glad tidings of great joy I bring to all the world and gladly sing. Welcome to earth, thou noble guest. To you this night is born a child of Mary, chosen virgin mild. This little child of lowly birth shall be the joy of all the earth. Welcome to earth, thou noble guest. This is the Christ, God's Son Most High, who hears your sad and bitter cry. He will himself your Savior be, and from all sin will set you free. Welcome to earth, thou noble guest. The blessing which the Father plans, the Son holds in his infant hand, that in his kingdom, bright and fair, you may with us his glory share. Welcome to earth, thou noble guest. These are the signs which you will see, to let you know that it is he. In manger bed and swaddling clothes, the child who all the earth upholds. Welcome to earth, thou noble guest. How glad we'll be to find it so, then with the shepherds let us go, to see what God has for us has done, in sending us his own dear son. Welcome to earth, thou noble guest. Look, look, dear friends, look over there, what lies within that manger bare. Who is that lovely little one, the baby Jesus, God's dear son? Welcome to earth, thou noble guest. Welcome to earth, O noble guest, through whom this 
central world is best. You turned not from our needs away. How can our thanks such love repay? Welcome to earth, thou noble guest. O Lord, you have created all. How did you come to be so small, to sweetly sleep in a manger bed, where lowing cattle lately fed? Welcome to earth, thou noble guest. Were earth a thousand times as fair, and set with gold and jewels rare, still such a cradle would not do to rock a prince so great as you. Welcome to earth, thou noble guest. For velvet soft and silken stuff, you have but hay and straw so rough, on which as king so rich and great, to be enthroned in humble state. Welcome to earth, thou noble guest. O dearest Jesus, holy child, prepare a bed, soft, undefiled, a holy shrine within my heart, that you and I need never part. Welcome to earth, thou noble guest. no longer silence keeps. I too must join the angel throng to sing with joy his cradle song. Welcome to earth, thou noble guest. Glory to God in highest heaven, who unto us his Son has given. With angels sing in pious, pious. pious mirth, a glad new year to all the earth. Welcome to earth, thou noble guest. Dismiss the gloomy clouds of 
the Old Testament foretelling the birth of Christ from Isaiah 9 to verses 6 and 7. For us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace, there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish it and to uphold it with justice and with righteousness. From this time forth and forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. No. through 8. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophet Isaiah. See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. You will prepare your way. The voice of our crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make the path straight. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins and people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan confessing their sins now John was clothed with camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist and that he ate locusts and wild honey he proclaimed the one who is more powerful than I is coming after me I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 through 25. Now the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be a child of the Holy Spirit. And her husband Joseph, being a just man and unwilling to put her to shame, resolved to divorce her quietly. But as he considered this, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All of this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke from sleep, 
He did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took his wife, but knew her not until she had bore a son, and he called his name Jesus. Jesus said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father, David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be seen? I know. Now at this time Mary arose and hurried to the hill country, to a city of Judea. And she entered the house of Zacharias and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, her baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and empowered by him. And she exclaimed loudly, Blessed are, the, are, the, are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how, was it, how has it happened to me that the mother of my Lord would come to me? For behold, when the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed and confidently trusted that there would be fulfillment of the things that were spoken to her from the Lord. Mary responded, Oh, how my soul praises the Lord, how my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he took notice on his lowly servant girl, and from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One is holy, and he has done great things for me. He shows mercy from generation to generation to all who fear him. His mighty arm has done tremendous things. He has scattered the proud and howdy ones. He has brought down princes from their thrones and exalted the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away with empty hands. He has helped his servant Israel and remembered to be merciful, for he made this promise to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for three months and then went home to her own home. The Birth of Jesus In those days a decree went out from the Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while the Quirinus was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and whom was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. Country, shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the King. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them to them concerning this child. And all that they had heard, it wondered at those things which were told to them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And all the shepherds returned, glory, 
glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. The cattle are lowing, the poor baby wakes, but little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes. I love the Lord Jesus, look down from the sky, and stay by my cradle till morning is night. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask thee to stay close by me forever, and love me, I pray. Bless all the dear children in your tender care and fit us for heaven to live with thee there. After the shepherds had returned to the hills, Mary and Joseph fell fast asleep. Baby Jesus stirred and awoke in the manger. The littlest stable animals acted quickly and cooed baby Jesus back to sleep with their very own lullaby. Ah! What does a cow say? Moo! What does a cat say? Mia. Evelyn the dove added her sweet coo coo. What's the what's a donkey say? What what's a donkey say? Can you say hee haw? Hee haw. talk about the sights and sounds of Christmas. What about the smells? <laughs> I mean, Mary and Joseph traveled a long way on a donkey. You could have picked any other animal and you picked a donkey. And they slept in a stable. Isn't that the same thing as a barn? Animals live in there. And there was also straw in there, which is, you guessed it, smelly. <laughs> and last <laughs> it. And they added a baby in there. I've lived through two of them. Not just one. A two. I know how smelly they can be. Hey, out, think. You still smell. Those, I think. those wise men took several weeks before getting there, getting there with the frankincense. Much needed frankincense. So this Christmas, don't just think about the sights and sounds of Christmas. I do love my music, but don't just think about that. Imagine the smells and very humble birth of the Christ child. Merry Christmas, and presented by the one, the only, J.J. Arrival of the wise men told by Matthew. In the time of King Herod, 
after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea and Judea, Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born, a born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Harold heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him, and calling together all the chef priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are by no means least among the rulers of Judea. For, for from you shall come a ruler, who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men, and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search dil diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay for his him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the pa place where the child was. When they saw the st that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knew, knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Harold, they left for their own country by any road. When they had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said. Take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. So he got up, took the child and his mother during the night and left for Egypt, where he stayed until the death of Herod. And so was fulfilled what the Lord had said through the prophet, Out of Egypt I called my son. Dear God, going to this year, I knew it would be different from any other year of my life, being I was about to transition from the life I had always known to moving to college. Preparing myself for that, I focused on keeping you first. I knew I would need you by my side more than ever. However, I quickly learned that I would need your loving guidance even more than I had ever expected. This year has been extremely hard for all of us, but I still see you everywhere. The first thing I think of is the loving nurses working on the front lines fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. This has made my desire to become a nurse even stronger, and I have realized that you are the one who called me to this profession. Despite the hurt I have felt this year, I know you have a reason for everything I have went through. I look forward to using what I have seen and learned this year to continue to serve you. I will remind myself each day to keep you first, and with that I will be able to get through every challenging year I face. I truly believe I needed this year to grow my faith. Thank you. Love, Abby. Dear God, when the year 2020 rang in, I was fully expecting it to be a year of change. I knew that my children would be moving on to the next phase of their lives and that my role as a mother would be transitioning. Life is full of changes after all. When I had the opportunity to chaperone the youth group to Houston several years ago, one of our guides told us her favorite saying that got her through hard times was, God is good all of the time. While simple, it struck a chord with me and remains with me today. Never in my wildest dreams did I expect the new year to bring a worldwide pandemic. So many thoughts and questions drift through my mind. Will someone I love get COVID? Will someone I 
no die from COVID? How will we feed the hungry? How will the small town businesses survive? How can we deal with the increased mental health problems? As my anxiety increased, I found comfort in you. As these thoughts surged through my mind, other changes occurred. I had to adapt to a remote work schedule. My kids had to e-learn and our church had to adapt to new ways to worship. I prayed to you for guidance and saw my faith grow. As always, you were good all of the time. When my kids were transitioning to the next big phase of their lives and we had to leave Abby at Purdue, I was so worried to leave her, especially under the conditions of a pandemic. As I worried, I found comfort in you and knew that you were guiding and comforting her and helping us adjust at home. Now that we are in the Advent season, I am reminded of the apprehension that Mary and Joseph must have felt when you guided them, giving us your precious son, and later how you sacrificed that precious son for us, which has led me to become angry at my own selfishness and other selfishness during these times. I remind myself that if you could sacrifice your son, I could make these small sacrifices that are so minute in comparison. As 2020 ends, there is hope that the new year will bring an end to the pandemic. As I reflect and lessons learned, I see and feel your presence in the care given to the sick, the poor, the hungry, and the weary. Even in the most darkest of times, you see us through them as you always do because you are good all of the time. Your faithful servant, Mary. Dear God, please forgive me, but sometimes I wonder where you are in these trying days of the COVID-19 pandemic. And then I look around and see you in, in the smile of an old friend virtually gone and now reunited, in a tear of friend or family who lost a loved one, perhaps their only one in the hands of a nurse who left the safety of their home to care for a stranger, in the resilience of a food store clerk who understands the necessity of food, in the care of a doctor who lives in a ministry of hope, in the word of a sacred scripture proclaimed in faith, in faith at the bedside for the last time, in the parent who is fearful at the uncertainty of their child's future, in the pain of a homeless shelter and the people who show up the trust of trusting in providence, of the people of the world who stood and clapped their hands on porches to show their support of healthcare workers, in the fear of an isolated nursing home resident, in the brokenhearted, lonely, furloughed, poor, and marginalized, in the songs of birds which herald each new day and the majestic purple primrose peeping from the earth. God, you certainly are here. A God who journeys, heals, and loves us dearly. Thank you, God. And all through the land, all through the land, the people were traveling to their own homeland. The uh, ends and were uh, full go of uh, travelers. Da, da, you do, now. No. And a young couple was searching for some place to go. She was heavy with child and found permission to rest in a small stable not considered the best. And had a hand in the manger, not much more. Stuffing the animals on the dirt floor in the same country, abiding, abiding in the field, shepherds for tending their sheep as they will. The stars up above were shining up high. One in particular was lighting the sky. All of a sudden, there appeared in the sky an angel of God with a message from high. The angel announced, Don't be afraid. I bring you good tidings for all people today.
For he was born to you this day, which is Christ the Lord, she had to say. In the city of David, wrapped in old clothes, lying in a manger is a sign you should know. And all of a sudden there was singing in the air, a multitude of angels singing with care. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. They were gone. The shepherds agreed they would go travel to Bethlehem immediately. When they arrived, they found the sign, Mary, Joseph, and the babe. He was lying in a manger, just as the angel proclaimed. They told the parents what they were told of this holy child she now holds. Mary was thinking of all the things that they said. Then they returned and bowed their heads. They praised and prayed and glorified him for all the things the angel had said. Eight days later, when it was time, the small child Jesus was named. Remember the star that lighted the sky that special night the angels came by. From even that time, from really afar, there had been three kings following that star. They brought him gifts of myrrh, frankincense, and gold. Very pricey items, I am told. Over 2,000 years have passed since then, when Jesus was a child born not of sin. He came and he lived and he died for us. God Almighty really loves us. He will be back very soon indeed to gather his bride for a wedding feast. Christmas will continue forever indeed, so give your gifts in his memory. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. May your life be filled with his joy and his light. Oh, ho, ho. Almighty God, who sent the Holy Spirit to Mary, proclaimed joy through the angels, sent the shepherds with good news, and led the Magi by a star, bless you this day through the Word made flesh. Amen. Merry Christmas from me and from all of us here at St. Paul Lutheran Church in the community of Olean, Indiana. May the Lord bless you and keep you through this holiday season and into the year 2021. Amen. Blessed Merry Christmas and a very happy new year. I'd be so glad when I can see each and every one of you. 
Hi, everybody. This is Katie Warner wishing you a Merry Christmas and God's blessings in the coming year. Christmas for Marianne, Sue, and Giggles. Have a good year. Thank you. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas from, from the Lippers. Christmas and Happy New Year. Love the Landwares. Merry Christmas from Elena, Wilmot, and Aurora. I wish all of you a very Merry Christmas and a most healthy New Year. God bless each one of you. From Alethea. Merry Christmas from the Vogel family. We wish you good health and God's richest blessing in the new year. Merry Christmas from the Fetters. Christmas from the Limings. Merry Christmas from the Thomas family. Merry Christmas from Evelyn and Jordan. And Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas from Carly and Riley. Riley. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. We, we miss, miss you all. all. Amy and Briar. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas from Doug and Linda. Merry Christmas yeah. from David and Vicki Deem. It's from Our Home Tears wishing you a Merry Merry Christmas, a blessed Christmas, and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Merry Garth and I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a prosperous and a healthy New Year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from David and Ruth Green. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Esther Geisler. And from Melissa Spencer, we wish you a happy and healthy 2021. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Since we're not going to be able to see everyone this Christmas and through the holidays, we wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And keep safe in all your travels if you're of the age to do that. And Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to everybody from Frank and Eileen. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from the Obendorfs, Cheryl and Paul. Hope you have a joyous and happy holiday season. Merry Christmas from Ed and Phyllis. I'm Reese. And this is Eli. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas from Cole. Merry Christmas from Laura, Eli, and Luke. Merry Christmas from Teresa. And Tucker. And David. <laughs> Somebody push the button so we can end it. Okay. So whenever you're ready, I've got the, I've got the camera, I've got the camera on. Luna's not ready. Okay. She has to pose. Okay. Okay. <sighs> okay. Merry Christmas from Carly and Luna. If you're happy, that's Christmas shout, hooray, hooray, all right. If you're happy, that's Christmas, and you really want to show it. If you're happy, that's Christmas shout, hooray, all right, hooray, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays from Megan, Granny, Bodie, and Poppy. Poppy. We wish you Christmas jammy fun for everyone. Look at these Christmas jammies! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Hello, it's Santa Claus. I'm going to miss seeing each and every one of you this year. I may not have had a chance to talk to you individually in person, but rest assured, when it's Christmas Eve, I'll be making my rounds on that snowy night. Merry Christmas! to